Hi, we're back again. This is Robert from Asia Pacific Gardening. I just find out we have the same color shirt with the with the tree. Probably no fun. Look at this here. We're going to repot it this one here. Firstly, when you repot the tree, we need to find out where's the front of the tree. So you can see I'm going to turn slowly. If you're looking from your camera and from your TV screen, you can see which one you want to do again. Looking at the tree on the TV screen and your cell phone is different than what we're looking at here because I see the 3D view right here. So what we need to do, uh, looking at here. So at this moment, we probably looking at, let me turn to my side right here. Like this. I think this is the front for me. So you get the triangle shape, nice shape, and we consider this the front. But we may change the idea when after the middle of the program, we need to take it out from the container, see is it make sure this is the front of the tree or not. So we're gonna take it out from here and see what the next step. This is the owner of the tree, and we're going to work together. And you can see how too tall is that. It's, <laughs> it's just almost like the tree. So, but we're going to take it out from this container. I need okay. your help. Please. All right. Pull this down. No, lean down. Okay. Okay. Pull the container out. Okay. Here like what we did always. We need to open up this on the top here, how much we can see the better uh, root system on the bottom here. We consider this the front. We just put the stick right here for the memory, but there will be changed more probably. See this is nice, nice root system right here. Maybe you can add some value. And I already know this is the front, so I can open up this. Then we're going to select the container, which one container will be potted for this plan. We need to reduce a little bit on the side because we consider the front. So the, we need a little bit narrow side on this side. Let's open up this side right here, see what we can do. But this is the season we don't want to touch too much the root system and plus this tree has been training not the big deal we just need to remove a little bit of the soil on the bottom you can see this is original soil watch up the tree okay when you're potting the redo it like this always looking at that size because fragile a maple tree is really fragile hopefully we can turn better value for the tree Remember earlier we we talking about this consider this is the front of the tree one of the reasons because I'm looking at the triangle shape Of this apex of the topic right here. This look nice But if you're looking at from the side, what's the problem the tree leaning into back right here? so We need to looking at the tree If we can bring it up like this Then this would be considered how do you want to plant it? We don't want to plant the tree always in my other video too. We don't want to plant it, the tree go like this. It's not back people. We want the tree facing to the artist, facing the who's going to look at the tree. That's my idea for the tree like this. So we can make adjustment when we find the pot. This is a consider we're going to use for this tree. And this is nice handmade pot, uh, nice good drainage system high temperature fire and nice shape for the mixing with this tree is plain color not colorful before that we tried to use the green colorful uh, glazed uh, container but taking away the color green and red this kind of not the contrast is not really helping us to bring up the quality of the tree and the owner also like this kind of pot Look, you can see I'm gonna try to put it right here see what they look like am 
remember, that's the front. Is that still front? Yes. Uh, uh, this is the front. Mm. Now change it, right? <laughs> yeah, it's Why hard. It, it changed it. Well, I kind of, I kind of like it from this angle. I think what we talked about before. Okay, you stay yeah. there yeah, and yeah, looking yeah. at from the distance. And everybody in the front of the screen of your TV uh, and your cell phone, looking at this, but. Is we again we're looking at different things. I'm front of the tree. I'm too close to the tree. Sometimes I can look. I cannot look clear. I still need to go back there to looking at from the distant this tree. And when we consider this is the front, mm. I like this side here. The tree we bring it up. We used to be like this. Now we're gonna plant it like actually. Hold on a second. See if we can hold it like this. Let me go back to take a look. I think we need to prune this tree first, then see what we decided, what we want to pot it. And without this pruning the tree, this is almost grow right here. We definitely we need to eliminate the, uh, the size of the tree. After we study the tree, the owners and us agree probably, probably still. We're going to plant it in this direction, this, this action, because we want to show the movement of the trunk. The only thing, this is overgrow. I'm going to clipping back this branches right here. You can see the maple tree, if they keep growing like this, this would be cut down like this. So you have to keep like this one here. You can see I put the same hand like this. I cut like this, boom, they're up. I'm going to eliminate this. And on the back side, you're probably not going to see anything. There's a lot of branches here moving to inside. So I need to go to take a look from this side. No, it's limited. And the top right here too heavy. Yeah. How do you think? Yeah, it looks great. So we're gonna put it in. This is the position. Yeah. This is the position. So get the triangle shape and the branches around. And from here, it's pretty much in the center. From here. You still can see the movement, but this is the... You can look at it from this side too, so I'm going to try yeah, to put in the... They're both pretty nice. Yeah. But this one here, I'm going, if we consider this the front, then we're going to up a little bit like this. Make the plan like this. Yeah, I like it. That's yeah. perfect. Okay, the next step we're going to plant it this tree in the right position. And we'll come back talk to you later. And this tree is really tall. We want to use the two wire anchorage to tie up the tree. So if you're watching my seven feet tall tree on the YouTube, you can see it's really big tree what we're working on that. And not a lot the channel can introduce you to the big tree like that that's good for study each other make sure here make sure here now we put the lower up on the bottom part
make sure I have a good drainage system. And we're going to put the soil mix. I know everybody looking at me, what kind of soil are you doing? This is the soil what we mix with our experience. It's basically potting soil, but we added the lava up, pumice, and coconut quarry. It's really healthy, rich uh, soil, but they drain very well. We need this a little bit like this before we tie up the tree because we see the nice space in between right here. So we try to find the stone. We can edit there. Of course, we've been trying to using this stone right here. Also can fit it right there. But looking here on the other side, it's kind of too small. See here, nice on this side, but looking at the back side, it's not much interesting. Maybe this is a good one, but we've been looking at this, this stone right here, and this stone is broken right now. It's carefully to install. There you go. So that would be interesting. Look, when you put the, using the stone, okay, I don't like the stone just put in the top of the soil. We planted the stone. So you can see how deep right here. So we're going to plant it, the stone. So hold the stone in the position. See, we almost like a planted the stone to cooperate together with the tree. So from either side, so not let the stone moving around. And make sure the stone in the position what they belong to, okay? You can just see the tree is moving around right now because the soil not compact close yet. Now we consider to to wire the tree right here. This two tree right here, we're going to wire that. Make sure it's tied up. And the other wire. See, so we consider this is the front of the tree right now here. So when your wire, try to put the wire not, not facing to you outside right here. So we can plant it like this. And this one. Make sure to tie this up and hiding right there because we're going to put the soil on the top of this here so this soil we need to pack a little bit more look like i'm putting a lot of soil don't worry about that because we need the working on that especially on the bottom right here see here They always have a air bucket on the bottom of this soil, this root right here. And you don't want to do it like this, it will be damaged the tree. So go like this. So make sure the soil can go down to the bottom. Hold the tree. Now we need to make adjustment this right here a little bit. Remember how much soil we put on the top. Now they all have to make sure they go into the under the root in the position and this part right here you don't want to have air bucket under the root under the tree right here also make sure when you plant the, the tree, see here, you can tell it's no space in between. So because we tied up, if you put like this, it has a space. This means the wire is not tied up enough. So we need to double check is this the position right? Now I think we need to prune back a little bit. This is overgrown right here.
let's see. You can see here overgrow. This is the back side. This is the front side. I keep a little homework for you, and this one you can continue to wiring the tree. Open up right here. Because this is empty right here to bring down. Open up. And limit this one right here. And right here. So we're going to decorate some moss right here. One thing is to protect the soil, not easy to dry out. Also, to add to some beauty of this bonsai right here. It's like a like a carpet works. So clean up. It's nice to have the section to section right here, so they have a space in between. So when you water, the water can go through well. So I'm going to put a little bit of the soil conditioner right here, you know when you need to water the plant. So this is the one. If you see the dry color like this, that's when you need water the plant. After you water the plant, this color will be changed. There's no problem with over water and not going to happen over water with the tree with our soil system right here. And every climate the different, you know, the video channel what we're facing to the anywhere in the wall so you you need to study your climate by your own see how hot is that and what kind of soil condition right now this is in the Pacific Northwest we are in Seattle area even you're looking at the sunny day like this it's still evening it should drop to probably six to seven Celsius which is like 48 or 55 between like that the first dice so you need to study about this here. So you can see how much the difference is. I, we consider this is the front of the tree. Let me water again. See the water that you put in the dressing on the top? It turned darker color. This is all for today and thank you for watching this video channel and hopefully information can help for you. You're welcome to put some comment and subscribe to our video uh, channel right here and thank you very much for your time. Again, this is the one of the project and this is not the only position, only one selection. We've been looking at that uh, different option but we decided the owner to we decided this to make it like this. And thank you again for the owner to let us do this. It's appreciated. And see you later soon. Thank you.